I have this wheel and I have it spinning very, very fast. And its omega vector, by right hand rule, would be pointing towards the open door. And so I've drawn it here. It's long because that wheel is spinning fast. Now, if I put my hand on the side of that and slow it down, Well, the omega vector is still pointing towards the open door, but now it's shorter. Now the question is, how much did it change? Well, the change vector is what I have to add to the initial. There's the plus sign right there. What I have to add to the initial to turn it into the final omega. I'm trying to make a long vector short. I've got to add something in the opposite direction. Now, in the olden days, by that I mean the, the first part of the semester, we defined linear acceleration to be the change in the linear velocity that happened in one second. Well, now we're going to define something called angular acceleration. We use alpha to represent that. And that's just going to be how much the omega vector changes each second. OK? Now, if we use that definition, we see that alpha always, 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 every stinking time has to point in the same direction as the change in omega vector. Turn to your neighbor Nimrod and explain why that is so, and use the word DeLorean. DeLorean. Okay, talk to Nimrod. Talk to Nimrod. <laughs> Okay. What you should have said to Nimrod is, unless you have a DeLorean and a flux capacitor, you cannot go backwards in time. That means delta T is always a positive quantity. Time marches forward. That means that this vector and this vector have to point in the same direction. The only way you can get a vector to uh, point in a different direction by multiplication or division is if you multiply or divide by a negative number. If you have a vector due east and you multiply it by 2, it's still due east. It's just longer. Okay. Now, what this means is that Whenever we're slowing a wheel down, whenever it's turning slower and slower, the omega vector and the alpha vector will have to be in opposite directions, as in this example here. If I'm speeding something up so it's going faster and faster, the omega vector and the alpha vector will be in the same direction. Does this seem familiar? Have we been here before? Yeah, you're going down the road on a straight road. If you're hitting the gas and going faster and faster, velocity and acceleration are in the same direction. If you hit the brakes, they're in the opposite direction. Okay? Now, I want to caution you. The right-hand rule gives you the direction of the omega vector, period. Full stop. Nothing else. Okay? Some people learn that right-hand rule, and they want to use it for everything on the final exam. They say omega's uh, out of the page by right-hand rule. Alpha's into the page by right-hand rule. It's Tuesday by right-hand rule. Everything's right-hand rule. Right-hand rule only gives you omega. How do you get alpha? You ask yourself if it's spinning faster and faster or slower and slower. 
If it's faster and faster, it's the same as omega. Slower and slower, it's opposite. There is no right-hand rule for alpha. See if your neighbor understands that, please. 